Today I'm going to show you how I took a old ping pong table that I got free off of Craigslist and made a pickleball wall. So stick around and check it out. Hi, my name is Jason and today I am going to take an old ping pong table that I got free off of Craigslist and turn it into a pickleball practice wall. So this is just so you, if you want to try to do this, if you find a ping pong table that you don't need anymore or if you want to do that and you're into pickleball, this is a good use of an old, pick, or an old ping pong table. To start off with, I've got the table part of it taken off and uh, it's just sitting here. I've got only one side right now because we only need one side for this. Uh, you can make two, I guess, if you want, but this is just, we're just going to make one. And what I'm going to do first is take off the metal pieces that are still on there. So I'm just going to do that and then we will go from there. All right, the next, I've taken the metal sides off and I've taken anything off the back. So it's right now it's just the board. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a section of the tabletop and just use that because we don't need it to be that, we don't need it to be super wide. I'm going to go for about three feet and then the length of the board is going to be my, uh, what, I'm, what I'm shooting for. I'm also using the original base that came with it. If you see that in the picture of the ping pong table that I have, I'm using that original base because it has wheels on it and I thought that it would be cool uh, to be able to use that and also use it as a stand, use some of the, uh, some of the structure of that original ping pong table to be able to hold it up. So uh, next we're going to cut the board and start mounting it to the base. I cut it widthwise, about three feet, and I cut, because I measured the base, um, and I wanted that line that is on the pickleball table to be at exactly 34 inches, so I cut an additional two inches off the bottom, uh, just to make it so that when I mount it, that little line will be at the height of the net that, I that I'm, so I don't have to draw another line on there. So, anyway, on to the next step. Now that I've cut the main board, the next part is to take the base and, and create a a usable base out of it that I can use for my pickleball board. So I uh, took off all the junk that was on the, on the, most of the junk that was on the, the structure to help keep it all up for a ping pong table. And I just left the base with the wheels. And I had to, I did have to cut out a new middle section here, which I just used the part of the table for that, part of the extra leftover stuff on the table. Um, I made it the same size as the original one because it needs to be the same size because this pole is, has that size and this pole has to be the same size. So um, I did that and uh, I took off all the other stuff but I also noticed that this pole we're going to mount for the board to this to this um, and it's going to stand up straight from here and mounted onto this but I, I feel like it, it should be reversed. I feel like I should switch it around so that it's bending the opposite way because I think that that would be a better support for it. So I'm going to do that next. Um, I got rid of all this stuff, so that's all done with. Uh, we just need to switch this around and then we can mount that board onto there. I also added, I used some of that metal that's mounted to the sides and I just cut some of it, uh, which I'll show later, to mount onto here so that we can use it to keep the board straight up and down and also to give it different options. Now we're ready to go ahead and screw in the actual board to the, to the supports back here. But before we do that, I want to make sure it's, while we're doing that, I want to, want to make sure it's level. So, uh, because I don't want to screw it into the wrong place. If I screw it in the wrong place, it won't quite be level. But I want to be, have it be directly up and down. Uh, so I got the little square that I'm going to use to square it up, make sure it's right. So, and I've got my Sun Rider here assisting me so all right and okay all 
Okay, so now we have it in place and it actually can kind of hold itself right now, uh, although it's not perfectly secure yet. So we need to put something in the front to stop it from sliding forward. Um, and so I'm going to drill in. I've cut one of those pieces like I did earlier and I've got one of these pieces right here that I'm ready to just screw in. So to make it slightly adjustable, I also am going to screw in uh, another bar that's a little bit forward of that so that I can have it at a little bit of an angle if I want it to. So um, I cut another piece out right here and I'm just going to screw that in in the same way just to give it another place to stop. So yeah, do that. I'm just videoing. Okay, so now I have the board. I have it adjustable to two positions so I can have it at a little bit of angle or just perfectly uh, perpendicular. And the only thing I'm thinking about maybe that I would want to do is uh, possibly use these little, these little things that are off the side. Uh, maybe as extra supports, I could, I could use it to be a little bit stronger, but right now it's pretty strong. Um, and it's pretty solid, so let's try it out. To help make it look nicer, I also have some white electrical tape that I'm just going to use to put a little square on there to give myself a target. And then I should be ready to go.